Despite the Republic's attempts to keep General Grievous trapped at Duro, footage has spread on the holonet of his triumphant breakout at Bestine. Once out of this trap, Grievous was able to reunite with forces from Ifgen before gathering all Separatist forces along the rim amassing at Solus for a major attack on the Republic stronghold of Ariadu. Republic treachery nearly took out Grievous himself, but after a hard-fought battle we were able to put a blockade in place. Alright, we are back for our second episode of our CIS playthrough. We have our forces positioned near Ariadu, so let's just get them in, which I need to unpause the game for. So, we probably need to get in and defend Bestine again, but I'd love to be able to take Ariadu and Bespin. So, let's see what we can get out of that. Uh, I suppose I should move these guys all up here, too. And I don't know if we actually need to wait for everything. Well, they already finished a third building while I was already waiting. So let's bring in Sora Bulk first. Uh, there has been a change to how Grievous has been handled. Uh, for a lot of our ground and space mixed heroes, we actually handle them a bit differently, which has some advantages with how the AI is able to use them and how we're able to detect certain things. But it does mean you can't drag Grievous down as your first unit, which is kind of the only trade-off for a bunch of other cleanliness elsewhere. So I can still bring him down like normal, but uh, he's not hes not eligible for the first drop, which, I mean, you, you take what you get with Empire War sometimes, and that's not that big of a trade-off. Uh, but we should be able to take this other landing zone up here. We won't be able to afford any field emplacements, uh, but I think we have enough units here and Ariadu isn't built up a super ton yet so I think we'll be okay uh, without credits for for this one we'll let our J1 cannons keep on I want to here I'm just gonna close this so I can see that without there we go look at that beautiful little J1s I never really do the the cinematic cam on ground and there's it's really a shame I should be fired uh, you guys up there, where's Sora? Sora, there's some infantry coming through that you need to deal with. And you guys need to get a bit closer if you want to actually grab those. Let's get our other infantry out there. And we can focus down some... Oh no. Uh, yeah, leave. Run away. Thank you. Alright, Sora, get over there. You guys can come and capture this next little capturable. I'm going to try to keep the J1s a little bit farther back. Do they have artillery somewhere? They do. We're going to have to try to fly around that. Uh, oh, they've actually gotten to these first, but if we just take the long way around, we should be able to get through there. And there we go. One artillery piece down, and I think that's all the artillery they had. So let's try to make sure we're still getting up far enough to keep these guys in range for some support but not so far that they are going to be regretting their lives thank you grievous don't look at your your uh hips too much all right capture that and i think i want to get some support back on there let's move up and you guys can help against that turret well we gotta handle these first i think Actually, get that. So the Umbrella Shield would stop against, like, if we wanted to bomb in here or orbital bombardment. That's the the biggest use. Also against some artillery. But I I don't think I'm going to be bombarding in there anyways. Uh, so let's get our actual artillery on this side. And we can maybe start moving in on the... On the base. There we go. That is one of the ones that I was kind of thinking of trying to find a secondary use for. Because it is the most situational. That's the one the AI is probably most likely to use in a suboptimal situation like that one. But like, if you've if you've seen any of my uh, my New Republic playthrough on the many Ubrikia defenses, that would have been. Uh, what I built to save Silgal when she got uh, a little bit run over by some bombs. 
Another unworthy adversary. So, I just need to make sure these guys are... Eh. Well, you can deploy. And I think we're looking at everything we need to look at. And can you guys maybe get over here? Uh, well, you don't have much to do with that, J1. You're more anti-vehicle use. You, you can just, like, clock an infantry guy in the face, and that'll probably take him out. But that's not necessarily something you should be hoping hoping for. All right, that's done. And get on in there. Awaiting orders. Oh, keep uh, keep hitting. There we go. I think that's everything. Or maybe there's something hiding somewhere else. Okay, they're leaving anyways. So we got ourselves Ariadu. That's actually really nice. Uh, we'll be able to build that up. I don't know if we want to just go straight in for Bespin. Or if we want to go for Malice there. So let's actually take a look at what our other options are up here. So I'm going to pull these guys in. We have Liana that we could go for up there. Uh, what are our ships? We have Lucid Voice... We have a regular lupus, we have a regular auxilia, and we have a bulwark one. So these are all uh, just regular units. No patrons in there. I don't know if these ones coming in are... are actually, wouldn't, that wouldn't be because of the specific type. And we have Magnificent, and we have Immune Effects. Uh, having those kind of broken out might be nice. So let's pull these guys around. A lot of our admiralty is up uh, up here, so I'm going to have to pull some of that together. All right, here at Ariadu, we're going to get that, we're going to get that, and I think going in for Bespin first makes more sense. Because then we're just not going to be paying attention to this side as much. We'll just be able to leave it. So let's get you built. And I'm going to get this and we can pull in some quick defenses. Not just quick fixes, but quick defenses from Duro. Uh, is that going to be enough at Belderone? Let's pull some more of these guys in. And I'm going to use Ventress for this. The Jedi Council will fall, and I will burn the temple We're, to the ground. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ventress. I understand. You're very angry. Uh, Salukamai, though, we can increase our income from that. Centaurus has already built Charos. We have not taxed, so Charos, you can get that. Uh, and I do want to get a pirate... Thing. So Argonar, I think, is a, a good place for that. Let's get the Sabaoth Quadrant HQ, even if that's going to replace an existing shipyard. I do want to be able to go in here. All right, we got to Bespin. We have... What, do we have any missions yet? Uh, we do not have any missions yet. So how's our influence on Mandalore? We have six influence. I think we'll just want to build Mandel Motors. That'll get us up to seven. And are we full up in space? We are. So we'll probably just need to fill up on ground and then we'll be up to what we need. I could actually, I'll leave that to to all of you in the comments, uh, which Mandalorian group we should go for. Should we get Finchisa or should we get Free Vizsla? All right, Resilience, come on in. Grievous, let's get those those bursts. Free Marketplace. Are we the squaddies? Grievous is Grievance. It's fine. We have Bandit Healer, Tax Collector. It's never Lupus. Municet. Mucinex. And then Mucinex. I think there were two units that have the same name. It might be Mucinex. But, you know. Alright. Uh, they're getting a lot of damage out on that. But, it's like... I gotta rely on the chonkiness there of the tender and the tending itself. 
Uh, let's get the diamonds on over here. Hmm. Oh, that was almost a... Almost a good shot. That's better, I guess. Okay, well that actually, that held up pretty well. So let's, uh, let's get you guys in there. And let's get these fighters and bombers up to the station as well. We'll have our We the Squaddies come up there. And let's get Grievous himself on this side. Uh, the actual, so for the, the patron unit choices, the, uh, the Sabayal Squadron were quite popular. So we're going to be getting a lot of those in the near future. Really determining our corporate control of the of the CIS fleet composition is really what we're going for here. It's very, very thematically apt and uh, fitting. Apt and fitting. Let's get up here. And, okay, resilience was resilient enough to hold on through that. It was a pretty concentrated assault, but not the biggest fleet. So we're good there. I think I talked about in the in the prior episode how the CIS's Bolin stations will be swapped out primarily for variants of the banking clan, uh, like the gun platform from the uh, from the 2003 Clone Wars cartoon. Like the tall green one that we have with level five, we've got another model of that. So now that the ground structure for the CIS are gone, the uh, the Golans will be replaced very soon. Oh, we need to take those out. They're a little too far. And... Eh? Almost. You can't get away. We are victorious. No. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, no losses yet on that. We are cycle four. We're not quite yet at the the cruel, the cruel zone. Went down to Bespin there. Bestine has the next station level. That's good. Uh, Vulpter, we're building our ion cannon, so that's also good. What's our defensive level? We have a uh, secondary goal in level two. Also good. And probably named. Yeah, Frontier is actually on the Frontier. So let's pull you up there. And I would like to send these guys into Belderone. Want to make sure we have everything we can and let's go. Then we'll be able to split everything up. Like we have a lot of admirals, we'll be able to pull into this. Uh, that's where trench is. We have Duku there as well. All right, Grievous Pizza. Got our two core ships. We have Psycho Billy Cadillac. We have Iron Hand. We have Scary Tube. We have Ion Delight. My salt shall rain. Scavenger's delight. And a lot of goes on tees. Right, here comes the, the garrisons. We do actually have the regular destroyer version of the Providence as well as the carrier destroyer. So there are more opportunities for earlier Providence variants now. This is still the carrier destroyer version. They all have some art differences. So they're still, uh, same with the Droidica, they have like early, middle, and late variants uh, that are slightly different. Uh, that's what the, the like JW and something else on the Droidica stand for. I have, I, I don't know what they all are different. They're, they're just still Droidica. Uh, we have those there. That's Tagoria. Tagoria, you can actually get a... Or there's a Q. Uh, you can actually get a tax agency. Boz Pity, you cannot. Uh, 
I'm gonna try to get an ion cannon there. Is that worth? Let's uh, let's actually cancel that for now. Uh, and I think Mintuine is where we're gonna want a lot of fleet production at, or at least the the northern part of the galaxy. So let's see what's actually in there. So there's eight provinces for us. There's two of those, one of those. Let's get a Providence and a DH Omni. I think having some DH Omnis will be good for us. Uh, but once we have new Gunray over there, we'll be able to get some stuff for cheaper. Maybe I'll just get some of the, the lighter stuff right now. Let's get Q. We'll get two hard cells. We'll get a diamond. And... That's all we'll need right now. Because once we have access through there, we can put a uh, gun ray on a shipyard and we'll have much nicer times. I think he's the only one with the discount right now. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. So let's take ourselves a Bespin. Complete. Invasion commencing. And we're very close to turning on Cruel. Uh, I think for Bespin, having the indirect artillery is actually going to be very helpful. And I'm going to get a sensor. So let's deploy you there. Let's deploy you there. And we want sensor arrays. Okay, don't let the don't let the cloud car ruin us. There we go. Okay, you can hunt that down. I need you guys to just get over to that structure. That is the senator's office. We're right there. Uh, Sora, do you have battle? No, mind trick. So I'm just gonna have the MAF kind of go around and maybe destroy some scout bikes for us. I could send some of you... Let's Yeah, let's actually send some of you over to the next landing zone. And Sora, get over there. You're going to have to clean this out for them, probably. Okay. Uh... That is a, an AA turret, plus they have a good amount of infantry there. So, I think... Can you guys actually... Yeah, you can you can support that. Can both of you support that, though? Here, we need the... We need the vision from you. So, get that. All the clones are coming out somewhere. Yes. Alright, Sora, I sent you around so you could take out the senator's office, and that's what you're going to do. You guys can afford to go in. There's another cloud car. Fly around there, because once we have the AA turret down, we can get their help. But until then, we cannot. Right, thank you, clone troopers, and I think you're safe to come in now. Yeah, just get that and head over there, because the MAF can help against the ATRTs. Right, there's more infantry. You guys might want to get that. I'll probably still drop so. No, come on, I, I need you to get those. There you go. Very, oh, beautiful shot. You love to see it. It's just, it's satisfying. Okay, and we got ourselves another landing zone. I'm not going to hold you here. I'm also not going to spend money on a field base on this one. Let's get this. And... I'll get some persuaders and grab droids. They're going to shoot you with rockets, and you do not want to get shot with rockets. Fun fact. I am prepared to meet my end. Okay, as long as we have control over the middle parts, that's fine. Mm. 
prepare. I want you. I want you to kick out those infantry. All right. Uh, they're kind of fine just taking whatever comes by them, and I don't want to send this in to just die against anything that it flies into. I think they're fine. And this is a barracks. I think they might just have two barracks, considering the specific stuff we've seen. Okay, you guys can keep going to the next one. Is that going to be enough to... I'll have to pull them away. I'll have to pull one of them away. Disengaging. Oh, that actually worked. Never mind. Okay, so go and get that. You're gonna get this. And we will... Here, just uh, get into the base as fast as possible, because we are going to bomb whatever that is. I think it's another barracks, though. Oh, it's just uh, Bespin Motors. Alright, Sora, you're still good there. Down. You're gonna run them over? Area. Yep, move we got him. Alright, there's Bespin. So we can move over to the... Uh, to some of the borders. Uh, I think even Chardon? Let's move you back here. Still gonna be protecting on that. And Arganar, we have access. Well, first, maybe we get to Liana. So I'm actually going to do this this way. Well, let's take Belderone. Ventress, you want to go take Belderone? Uh, Dirge, you can help with this. Yeah, I'm just going to get her to go to the next one. This is a map that's kind of on its last legs. It's been around a long time. It, it definitely has some, some issues. Shows its age. Uh, I'm going to get more of those. Ventress, you're mostly in. Yeah, we can deploy them, too. There. We have a nice sensor ping. Uh, let's get the Hailfires. Dirge. I'm just going to send Dirge walking around the edge. And I'll probably want to send in some Crab Droids to protect them, too. So we have Spiders. We have Tri Droids. We have everything we could want. You, I'm just going to have... Try to stay a little bit behind. And I suppose we can get actual artillery. Now, map around. Anything that manages to sneak by, we can hold on to. Surge. No, you need to not shoot into the ground. That's another... Another rule of being a Mandalorian hunter. We've lost a How did Kanduku ever choose you to lead the droid All right. army? Don't want any aerial stuff going into there. They don't really have much to defend here. Yes, sir. I think I might uh once we get through Liana, I might turn on Cruel. I sense your desperation. Alright. It's like we're we're fairly secure. We have a decent economy. I think going cruel is going to be the way to be. All right, that'll be a victory point for us. And unless we can get to the base faster, I don't think we will. Nope. There we go. 
I didn't care about saving that enough to turn the game speed down, but, you know, I did what I could. System control achieved. Alright, uh, so... I wanted to send, like, Trench in to... You know, let's just do a... A hero battle and then retreat. No storm left behind has entered service. That I believe is you. Tactical battle imminent. So I, I want to retreat and have them join the rest of that fleet, then come back in. Uh, but I also hope you guys have enjoyed the the animated intros. It was a, a fair bit of work to set the the original map up for that, but I think uh, I think ultimately it'll be worth it. Like it's not too bad to set up the like per episode ones to the movement, but the doing the original map, I, I think there were some mistakes I need to to fix in it as well. But it was, I think it's neat. Like I I made that map for a lot of the campaign breakdowns I do on my lore channel, Corey's Datapad, and uh, and I figured it would be fun to try to use that for here. I think there were some people who have asked me to in the past as well, uh, and I decided it would be. It would be time. The Republic has taken Ragosa. Alright, I'm more interested in taking Liana in space than on ground, although I'm gonna do both. We've got them. Send reinforcements. Alright, we have our, our double Pathfinder, because if you combine oh, fleets, the Pathfinders get uh, doubled up like that. But we have Admiral Trench. We have that bulwark. We have Scary Tube. We have Rel Harsel. We have Duaningo. We have Otto. Oh, we have the Munificent Dreadnought. Primarily just a mission thing, but. By Serapin's Rotation, Iron Hand of Castell, Scavenger's Delight, Ion Delight, and My, Shal my Salt Shall Rain. Also coming in. All right, Otto, you guys need to... Here, actually, I'm going to move you away because you definitely need to chill. And let's try to get in some other... Uh, some other ships. Yeah, I need to get over to those acclimators, I think is the, the main thing. So, hold on. Let's make sure we're getting any... Any hangers we can deal with. And Otto, you need to move away. Dua, you're also going to go for those. How are we looking for fighters? Vultures, there's a big clump of bombers that are coming in, and I just don't want them to make it to Otto. And, oh, you have Brace. You don't have the... The jam... Probably a bad idea to send Harsel that close to so many bombers, but if I'm if I'm being honest with myself, well, I think Harsel is neat having come from the FFG, uh, the FFG tabletop stuff, and having been added to the mod because we used him in a in a tabletop campaign we did on the channel. Uh, I'm not if if something happens to him. Like I, I'd be, let's put it this way, I'd be more disappointed if he survived through the campaign. I don't want to lose him before we're like on Cruel or anything like that. But, uh, I think we're going to have to send the Bulwarks for the goal in, but I should probably just make sure we're staying alive first. Uh, let's get you guys over there, and we have our Vulture Droid Hero. So, I should probably check and see if there's any other assignable fighters that we we do need to assign. Because the assignable fighters are neat. There's a good chunk of them throughout the mods. Open frequency. Open frequency. I don't, I, I don't know why I add that on the end of everything. Not everyone is a laughing hut. Uh, I don't know that we have enough bombers to live through their screens, but let's get up there. What are your stance? An ultra heavy, an ultra heavy ion as well. Ultra heavy turbo laser and ultra heavy ion, I should say. 
So let's get them in and trench. I'm just gonna hold you back, I think. Got a lot of surviving heroes now. Let's get over to that there, Lon. And which one are you? You are Iron Hand of Castell. We do want to try to make sure we can take out the uh, the shipyard. So I think with stuff already shooting the Golans, let's get over there. Vultures, get over here. And there, yeah, 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 we're good. So this goes a long way to getting us in control uh, in the north. Like, if we can manage to take out Mon Calamari, probably again not before we're on Cruel. Like, I think even taking Liana on the ground might be enough for us to turn on Cruel. I think we are on week, what, six? Five or six? Uh, let's make sure these bombers don't for your take out our soul. Actually, no, they don't have anything else that's going to survive, so we don't need to take out anything that's attacking anyone. Get it. There's is. Oh, he's even getting shields back, so those bombers aren't really going for him anymore. Retreat aborted. All right. So, we've got another fleet coming in on Barlock. We are on cycle 5, but uh, I think at the end of next episode, sometime in the next episode, we will be turning on Cruel AI. Uh, there is an enemy fleet coming in on Barlock again, which I think they're just going to be able to take. But uh, we're in an okay position. We've got, uh, we've got access to send uh, Newt over to... Mintuween, which I think I will do before I save, just to make sure it actually happens. And now we will save, and that'll do it for today's episode. There will be one more episode that is recorded offline, but the first Twitch stream will be on Wednesday the 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern. I think I said Tuesday last time. I think I keep saying Tuesday. It's Wednesday nights at 7 p.m., and uh, we'll be doing... The CIS campaign live there at twitch.tv slash Thank you for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series so far and hope to see you next time. Bye everyone.